Springfield Armory's brand new XDM Elite 3.8. Let's check it out. What's going on, Luke with USA Carry here. If you're new to the channel, I do guns and gear reviews, which is what I'm doing today. I do defensive gun use breakdowns and concealed carry tips and other related content. If you like that kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of new videos when we publish them. So today I'm reviewing the new XDM Elite Series from Springfield Armory. This is their 3.8 compact concealed carry version. I just reviewed their tactical OSP version. If you haven't seen that one yet, I'll link it up here and at the end of the video and in the description so you can check that one out. So starting off, this one comes with their small flared magwell versus their standard flared magwell. You can see the difference there. This is the regular magazines. It comes with two of these. This is a 20 round magazine, even though it says 19 on here, it holds 20 plus one in the chamber. The tactical version came with an extended magazine that also works as well. So you can buy these if you want those. I'm sure they'll probably eventually be doing one of those gear up promotions where you can get like four magazines and other stuff. This one comes with two of these magazines. You get the same bag little range bag, some pouches for your magazine, some pens, two little sleeves, and all of the same stuff, lock, manual. And you do also get some fiber optic rods because this version, I do like the sights on this version. It's clear. You've got this U-notch rear sight and a fiber optic front sight. So far playing with it when I was at my house, it points really nice. I do like the sights on here. They're easy to pick up. You've got the white U-notch and then you've got the fiber optic front that it's probably not focusing on. Anyway, so you can swap these out with the ones they give you. There's a red one and a green one. So whichever one you prefer. All right, moving on up. You've got the same grip texture as... Greg, stop interrupting me. Anyway, all right, so the grip textures are the same on their old XD M's from what I can tell, here's both of them. This is this one here is an old series. Obviously this is the Elite series. It doesn't have that micro grip texture like a lot of pistols are coming out with, including their Hellcat they just released. You get a total of three back straps that you can change out to. Just like everything else, you just pop the pin out and switch those out. This already feels good in my hand, so I'm not gonna bother switching any of these out. I've got medium to small hands, so usually I don't change any of the back straps on anything. Here's my Glock 19 I carry. I don't add any of the beaver tails or anything like that. I just like how it feels in my hand, but that's gonna be a personal preference. And moving on up, you've got the grip safety. Some people like it, some people hate it. I don't really care, it doesn't bother me. I carried XDs for a while. I carry Glocks now. This just doesn't really bother me. You've got ambi... Whoops. You've got ambidextrous uh, magazine releases on both sides. So you don't have to switch anything out. You also have ambidextrous slide stops. Again, nothing you have to swap out and switch. The trigger on these are really nice. I just shot this one and I really love and I really like it. So you've got a flat trigger, you've got an over travel stop, so you've got a little bit of take up. There's your wall. All right, and then you've got your reset. And there you go. So as I said in the other video, I'm not really much of a trigger snob. It's gotta be really bad for me to hate it. There were some pistols that came out last year, some that I really did not like. This trigger feels really nice. Again, I haven't shot this one yet, but I did shoot the tactical version and I do really like it. Up to the slide, you've got wider slide serrations on both sides. I do like these. These remind me of the Beretta Apex Compact that came out last year. Did that review and I was like sweating buckets no matter what. Every spot I hit it, I was able to wrap the slide. And this one seems just about the same. I didn't really put it through my sweat test, but um, on the other one, I'm able to grab it no matter what. So I do like these wider slide serrations, it's quite nice. So you've got your rail, so you can put whatever lights you want on it. I've got a Surefire X300UA, right? So there's that one. I've got a 
Streamlight TLR1 HL. There you go. I'm not going to tighten it down all the way. Two more. I've got an Olight PL Pro Valkyrie. If you like these Olights, I've got a link in the description. It is an affiliate link and we do get commissions, but that helps with the channel. Cool little light. These are all rechargeable, which I like about these Olights. And they're pretty, uh, they're pretty tough. And this other PL Mini 2, which is Olight as well, which this thing's kind of cool because you can slide it back and forth depending on your gun. So we'll just place that one right about there. So it's flush. And I think we'll leave that one on it. Again, link in the description if you want one of these Olights. They make some awesome rechargeable flashlights as well, which is now I carry one of theirs for my EDC light. So there you go. Let's uh, jump through the rest of the specs. All right, so the rest of the specs, uh, this is 7.2 inches long, 5.62 inches high, and grip width is 1.44 inches. And with an empty mag, it is 28 ounces. The only thing I don't like about this so far, and I haven't shot it, is they don't have a cutout for a red dot. I think all pistols that are coming out now should have cutouts for red dots. The Hellcat had one, which is a smaller pistol. And it's not just a Springfield Armory thing, but I think everybody should be coming out with slide cuts for red dots. That's just me. If you don't want to use it, then you leave the plate on. But if you ever wanted to put a red dot on it, you don't have to send it off to get milled and you're good to go. Just my personal opinion. If they ever came out with a real compact version of this with a shorter grip, I would like to see it with a cutout to put an RMR on it because this is what I carry. This is my daily carry. This is a Glock 19 MOS with a red dot and I can usually conceal this under a t-shirt. This, like I'll say again, I'm not gonna be able to conceal this big old grip, especially these Magwell flares under a shirt. So maybe if you're living up north and it's cold and you're wearing jackets or some kind of overgarment, you can probably conceal this with no problem. There's your barrel. This is a 3.8 inch hammer forged melanite finish one in 16 twist barrel and you have this a similar one piece metal guide rod spring which seems pretty sturdy so let's put this thing together and get some rounds down range all right so like i said in the other video putting rounds in these mags for the first time is super hard it's dealing with that with the other pistol my thumbs are a bit sore so you might want to use one of those loaders only got about 11 rounds in this but they did start to loosen up after i was doing three four hundred rounds so i'm just going to stick with this for now and see if they loosen up a little bit so this is going to be my first shot with the xdm elite 3.8 Hey, I'm filming over here. Trying to hit that hostage flipper. Two hits, two misses. All right, here's one of those extended magazines. Obviously they work with it as well. I do like the way this feels though. Like I mentioned with that flared magwell, you kind of get a good solid grip. I am digging these sights. I'm pretty accurate with it. I'm hitting that hostage flipper. The recoil is pretty good on this. I'm able to get shots back on target pretty quick. So far, so good. Let's get some more rounds through it. Uh, I probably didn't mention earlier, but you do have the cocking indicator here, right? So you can see if the gun's cocked. You can see that now that it's loaded, this comes up a little bit, right? So you know if there's a round in the chamber. So let's get some more rounds through it. I'm riding that slide stop a little bit. That's just me and my grip. I'm liking these slide serrations. They're easy to grab. I'm 
digging it. Pretty nice. All right, so that's about 100, 150 rounds through it so far. No problems at all. Let's start cycling in some different types of ammo. All right, I've got some SIG 365 Elite ammo with some of their Elite jacketed hollow points, the V-crowns at the bottom of here. So let's see how that runs. All right, next up, I've got some Federal Syntec training ammo. So it is a little snappier than the bigger one, obviously. It's a shorter barrel, but it's not difficult to handle. Seems like I'm pr doing pretty good at my follow-up shots. Recoil's not bad at all, and I am digging these sights. Would take me a little bit to get used to, but I seem to be pretty accurate with them. I'm hitting that hostage taker most of the time. So Let's see what other ammo I got back here. All right, next up, I've got some Federal HST with some spear personal protection. Same stuff I shot in the other review. Got them on top of each other. Let's see how it runs. All right, to wrap this up, I got about 40 more rounds of some just Full Metal Jacket Fioshi. Probably butchering that name. I'm sure I'll hear about it in the comments. All right, let's go sit down and wrap up this review. All right, so there you have it. The new Springfield Armory XDM Elite 3.8. Like I said, I did a review on 
the Tactical OSP. So if you haven't seen that one, it'll be probably coming up right after this. What do I like about this? It feels really good in my hand, just as I thought before I shot it. Again, how my pinky comes down on that flared magwell. I just feel like I get a really tight grip. I do like these wider serrations. You can get a grip from it pretty much wherever. That's pretty nice. It was super easy to control. The recoil is not bad at all. I do really like the trigger as far as the flat trigger and just the trigger itself. It's really nice. I think they did a good job with that. What don't I like about it? That it doesn't have a cut for a red dot. I think they should have put one on at least the concealed carry version. They put one on this one. I think they should have at least put one on here, if not all four of them. But hey, if you're not a red dot guy, don't worry about it. And uh, if you really want one of these with a red dot, you can always get the slide milled. And again, same as this one, I put about 400 rounds through it today. Nothing like doing two gun reviews in one day, huh? But it fed everything just fine. I had zero malfunctions. I was using full metal jackets, hollow points, variety of different ammo, different grains, and had no problems with it at all. The barrel finish is wearing a little bit, not as much as it did on this one. I don't know if you can see that, but this one's wearing a little bit. I don't really care about that. It's just something I'm noticing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I like these sights as well. I got them on target pretty quick. I was hitting that hostage flipper pretty easily. If you wanna check them out at springfieldarmory.com. I don't know the release date on these yet. They are launching the same time I'm publishing this video, but if I find out before that, I'll pop it up here on the screen. And that'll wrap this one up. This is probably gonna be my last video before the SHOT Show. Today is Monday and I'm flying out Saturday. So if there's anything in particular you want me to check out while I'm there, let me know in the comments below. If not, I'll probably be coming out with some content while I'm there. I've got a few interviews lined up. So yeah, looking forward to making a bunch of more content this year. Keep an eye out for that. We're gonna be putting out some really good stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Making more content this year. Got a I think he's done.